Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. You are watching one of our nano episodes, which is about three and a half minutes of two great headlines and a phone talker for the day. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about what's in the news. <laughs> If you've ever wanted to watch a police drone capture another drone with a giant net like a robot butterfly, today's your lucky day. Japanese officials wanted to figure out a way to disable illegal drone flights, especially after a drone carrying radioactive material landed on the prime minister's roof earlier this year. It looks like, for them, more drones is their answer. They recently tested a system that involves a large drone equipped with an even bigger net to take off into the sky and capture an illegal aerial vehicle. It's starting out with a single drone, but they'll expand the program to 10 drones next year, with each one guarding its very own specific government building. I think I smell an updated TV reboot. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come? In other news, today is the day, everyone. NASA officially opened up job applications for astronauts. The open call for space explorers starts today and will accept applications until mid-February of next year. If you are interested, you can head over to astronauts.nasa.gov and you'll be able to take a look at some of the job requirements. You'll need a degree either in math, engineering, or biological, physical, or computer science, and quite a bit of time flying jet aircraft. The manned mission to Mars isn't scheduled until the 2030s at the earliest, but there is a planned mission to an asteroid in 2025 you might be able to get in on if you manage to grab a coveted spot on the crew. So if you meet all the qualifications and you do decide to apply, good luck. All right, guys, let's check out our phone photographer of the day. Our phone photographer of the day today is Luke, who sent us this amazing perspective picture and wrote to us and said, Hey CNET, I was just walking around in the woods last month and took this picture on my Blue Pure XL. And what a beautiful picture it is, Luke. Like I said, I really like sort of the perspective, the tree, the bark, it's really cool. If you want to be featured on the show for Photographer for the Day, send us your photo to tomorrow at CNET.com and make sure you give us permission to use it on the show. And also tell us a little story about it because we like stories. Uh, that is it for the show, guys. If you want to find us on social media, you can do so at any of these places. We also accept feedback on any of our stories with the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter. And we will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, a wonderful science it's back meaning science fiction, but until then, be good humans. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>